So we have here this area for both of my buttons. Now, what's next? I want you to think about this. This space. This is an empty space that it has to be filled in App Inventor. We are going to use a dummy, okay? Just a component that is not uh, going to be showing, but is going to be taking uh, this space, okay? So, and we need to use or to think about um, remember points. We need to think about in this case about percentages. We are going to be using percentages now. It is easier with App Inventor because App Inventor now is like using this kind of uh, thing this, uh, for the size of your component, the percentage that it's pretty cool. Okay, so now remember this is my screen, and my screen is 720 points in this case times 120 and 1280 points so oh sorry for that and that's it so you have this now this is the idea okay let's start with the first thing um, over the buttons we are going to create some squares yes uh, change the color just to see this thing okay change the opacity to know that this is your button number one and button number two just make sure it is like very well yeah I guess it's okay you can change the color to see it better and that's it button button now this is not going to be a button this is going to be an empty space you also, I, I just I just want uh, this component this dummy component to move my button okay to the correct place or to the correct part so let's see what's the size of this kind of space so we can use here and drag this thing I'm just interested here I'm not interested in the width because I'm going to use field, field parent, but I'm just interested in uh, the height of the bottom. Okay, so for example here we do this and we see that the height it is 449 uh, dot uh, 0.207 okay, points. So we are going to use a little of mathematics. And we are going to say that 1280 is equal to equals to the 100 percent of the screen. I, I, I'm talking about height. Okay. So if we have in this case, let's see my value. My value. This is points. My value in points is equals to what percentage? Okay, so we are going to do this. Okay, so basically we are going to use, uh, we are going to multiply 100 times my value in points and then we are going to divide this by uh, 1280 okay for example in this case I will write the height of this okay that is check it I have it in Spanish so I have you in border about, about that well here so this is the height bottom so we are going to use the calculator because I'm not very good with it so let's say here uh, let's uh, paste is this one so my value times 100 then divided by 1280 equals 35 this is a 35 percent <clears throat> of the screen okay so you can write it here 35 percent so here it's about high. Don't forget that. OK, 
okay just to remind then we have this space and now here there is another space and two spaces okay so now we're interested in this what is the size of this we are going to use here an horizontal arrangement to place my button okay so the horizontal arrangement will be like fit parent for the width and how about for the height well we use the same method and again we have here the height again here let's go here it is 418 we go to the calculator erase these values paste and times 100 equals divided by <clears throat> 1280 it equals 32.7 let's say that is 33 okay 33 percent 33 percent so in this case well i didn't write the this because I will be, be I will be using the just the percentages okay so this 33 percent but now here we want to move the horizontal arrangement will be like here with this alignment to the left so here we need a dummy to push the button okay so first let's create here this dummy let's use another color or whatever this one purple one here and this is my dummy my dummy will be well this height okay of course it will be here uh, but I'm interested now in the width for the width it's quite similar for the width we will be using here 720 points it equals 100 my value in points because the percentage okay so let's see here the width Let's go to the calculator, let's paste it, uh, times 100 divided by 720, and that's it, 27.72, okay, let's say that is 28, right? So here, the value that we have for this guy is 28% width, okay, so just to remember. Now we go to the button. The button it will be like full parent for this part for the height in the horizontal arrangement. Okay, but for the width to make it a uh, very exact. Okay, so let's say that is now 435. Copy, erase, paste times 100 divided by 720. That's it. 7.4 so let's say that it's 7 the 7 uh, 7 the 60 percent sorry 60 percent width 60 percent width okay now we're almost finishing we have to do the same for this guy so if you check here we have an empty space so we have to create another dummy for this part so let's create a dummy uh, let's see what is the height of this dummy that is uh -huh, in points we go here erase paste times 100 divided by uh, this is the height. okay so it's 1280 and you have 13 so it's 14 14 14 percentage is height Okay, that's it. So you have this, and we will uh, fill it by fill parent or something. If we are not interested in the width, okay. So now the next part. What is next? Well, you have to create now here because we are going to be uh, we are will be using here another dummy. Let's change it to make it different. Okay, so the, this this will be another. Um, the name of these things horizontal arrangement okay and in the horizontal arrangement we will place this uh, button first we need the dummy okay well for the horizontal arrangement the height of the horizontal arrangement will be let's go here 
raise high 200 so erase paste times 100 divided by uh, uh, uh. and it's pretty good let's say that is 16 percent this is for the horizontal arrangement this is the height okay inside the height well we need inside the horizontal arrangement we will have a dummy and the bottom so first the dummy it will be here the dummy will be now we are interested in the width of the dummy not in its in its height so we copy copy ctrl c we will here calculator erase i know sometimes it takes too much time but believe me the results are really good 100 and then uh, we divide this by 720 because it is the width so 14 so let's say that is 14 right 14 percent and it is for width I guess that's quite the thing now we need the button okay the button we are just interested in the width because we're going to use uh, here the the height of the horizontal arrangement okay so for the width we select it we check the width we copy we go here we paste times 100 like this and then 720 31.5 so 31.5 so let's say that is 31 31 percent for width for the bottom so, we're almost ready to go to App Inventor.